He is immortal. Born in the highlands of Scotland 400 years ago, he is not alone. There are others like him, some good, some evil. For centuries, he has battled the forces of darkness with holy ground, his only refuge. He cannot die unless you take his head and with it his power. In the end, there can be only one. He is Duncan MacLeod, the Highlander. Last week on Highlander. It's time for you to be a hero again. Come on, get up! You got it, man. You should have seen this guy, Mac. He was awesome. <laughs> you see his wrist? He's got a scar on Like he had a tattoo removed. And not very long ago. some work and uh, so will these but you can do it of course are you gonna tell me what's going on here or do i have to guess a little surgery even mcleod has a weakness i found the right weapon now it must function perfectly well i blew it i got the kid on side mcleod doesn't trust me Mac, he's just a regular guy He's one of them, okay? Listen to me, listen to me, he's one of them. And you want to stay alive or not? Pete. He's dead. This couldn't be wrong. Could you? Minor actors have played their roles, he said. Now it's up to the star. You've done a great job, Doctor. She's exactly like Tessa. Celui qui vient à moi ne mourra pas, mais vivra, et je le ressusciterai au dernier jour. Alléluia. Venez à moi, vous tous qui êtes fatigués et chargés, et je vous soulagerai, car je suis doux et humble de cœur. Alléluia, Alléluia. Donne-lui, Seigneur, le repos éternel, et que brille à jamais sur lui la lumière. Amen. It's sooner Pete might still be alive. Do 
you know how you think you know things. Well, I just didn't trust this kid. I was so sure. Now he's dead and I don't know what I'm sure about anymore. Maybe after you live 400 years, you just forget what it's like to be human. Was that such a great way of reminding me, Tess? What are you talking about? Nothing. Nothing. I'm not in any mood for games, Dawson. Who are you talking about? Someone in Paris is accessing our computers. Files, records, everything. Bank funds are being transferred, and even I can't trace them. It's the 90s. Computer theft is a growth industry. I know. And that's why we designed our system to be bulletproof. We? Horton and I. We designed it together. Well, well. Better than I expected. First McLeod and the boy, and now Darcy. The ducks are lining up, Lisa. You're not paying me for the others. I'll look after the others. You just concentrate on my cloud. You shot Horton at point blank range, and you both saw him die. You both saw him hit the river. No body was ever found. Maybe I'm a lousy shot, all right? Or maybe he wore a Kevlar vest. Like you said, he always left a way out. You think Dawson's right? Horton is as good a survivor as he is a killer, and now it all fits. What fits? Horton and your friend Pete. Pete? Pete is dead. Horton is alive. One's got nothing to do with the other. You won't leave her alone, will you? Look, I'll, uh, I'll keep in touch.
first. Fingerprints. This owner would rather have someone touch his wife than this car. <laughs> well, actually, I was thinking of a different owner. The one with the silver Aston Martin we discussed. Oh, yes, 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 I remember. You wanted a personal recommendation. Well? Well, it seems he moved. I didn't talk to him. I was wondering if there was a forwarding address somewhere. Not that I know of. Too bad. If he does contact you, you can reach me here. Absolutely, Mr. McLeod. You almost got me killed. Let go of me. I'm sorry. Uh... What are you staring at? Oh, I know. This is the part where you say I remind you of someone else, right? Why were you at the cemetery this morning? How did you know? I saw you. I was there. Is that what this is? You've been following me? No. What were you doing there? I was visiting my father's grave. Why were you there? I was seeing someone too. I'm sorry. Look, you seem like a nice guy, and I really don't know what this is all about. But I have to go. What's your name? Lisa Mio. I'm Duncan. Duncan McLeod. Nice to meet you. Well, I'm late. Um, can, can we have uh, lunch on time, perhaps? I don't think so. Uh, maybe some other time? Uh, I'm afraid not. people would be happy. I'm not most people, Tess. I know. If you were, I wouldn't love you so much. Tess, if you stay with me, your life's not going to be like anyone else's. And it'll never be the same. It's already not the same. I eat, drink, and sleep you, Doug. I want you. Forever. You're sure? More than I've ever been. Then you have to know everything about me. No secrets. Everything. Tell me. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Mine. Trust me? Yeah. I want you to promise me something. What? Which won't call anybody, no matter what happens. Promise me. What, what are you doing? Promise me. <laughs> Promise me. Okay. Ah! Duncan! Oh, Duncan! Duncan! What? 
I don't understand. I can't die, Tessa. Never? Not like others. I was born Duncan MacLeod of the Clan MacLeod 400 years ago in the Highlands of Scotland. What are you? I'm immortal. I'm human, just like you. But I don't age. I fought in the American Civil War. I survived the reign of terror in the French Revolution when they still burn witches at the stake. Does this scare you? No. I was just thinking how lonely you must be. Your parents, your friends, having them all die. And your children. I can't have children. And you won't have any either. It's the price you'll pay for being with me. You still love me? How could I stop? Such a romantic McLeod. Yeah. the flowers. You didn't have to. No, I didn't. You didn't have to come either. No, I didn't. That lunch invitation. Is it still good for dinner? Yeah. Um... Oh, do you mind if I uh, change first? I need to talk to you for a second. I've been doing a lot of thinking about Pete and, and, and all that business, and I just... Uh, Lisa Mignon, this is Richie Ryan. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry, um... You really do look like someone we know. I guess you weren't kidding. Later. Yeah. 
Sure. After art school, I did two years at the Sorbonne and then to Florence for postgraduate work. I met a guy, got married, got divorced. And that's the story of my life. Any more questions? Not at the moment. Good. <laughs> for a minute, I thought you were going to ask me my mother's maiden name. What is it? I'm just joking. Tessa, you're the most wonderful woman I've known in my entire life. Do I really look so much like this other woman? Yes, yeah, you really do. They say everyone has a devil somewhere. I'd love to meet mine. I'm afraid that's not gonna happen. She was the one in the graveyard? It's her you were seeing? I must bring back memories. I'm sorry. Don't be. I'm glad we met. So am I. Drug dealer? Maybe a rock star, but antiques. I'll let you into a little secret. It's a disguise. I'm actually middle-aged with bad hair, bad breath, and a bad suit. <laughs> so I've noticed. Thanks. So what are you paying? Oh, it's not important. Everything you do is important. Uh, wallpaper. What? Wallpaper. I design wallpaper. Yes, sir. Listen, to lose the turned out posters for the Moulin Rouge. And Paul Gauguin was a bank clerk. You're in good company. Yeah, just what I was thinking. Hmm. Do you do this for everyone? Do what? Make people feel good about themselves. No, not everyone. Seem happy. Any reason I shouldn't be? No, just that Horton's out there. He is, he is. This isn't about Horton, is it? It's about coincidence. It's about being in the right place at the right time. Mac, I think you might have been right about Pete. She's not Pete. Why? Because you don't want her to be? You're not exactly being objective about this. I've seen doubles before. How many times? Once, twice? And that's in 400 years. I have to play this out, Rich. Mac, if something looks too good to be true, it usually is. I wish Tessa were back, too. But she's not. Do you think I know that? I don't know. Do you? You know, even the damn pigeons look better here than in Chicago. I'm not much of a pigeon critic, Dawson. Okay, so we're not critics. You called because we're such old friends. I called because I have a problem. You guys still give me the creeps. <laughs> you want my help with McLeod? How do you know? Because otherwise you just go to him. It's this woman he's been seeing, Lisa Mion. She's a dead ringer for Tessa, right down to the smile. A doppelganger. A what? Uh, a perfect double for a living person. Oh. 
Now, if this were a setup, don't you think McLeod would see through it? I'm not sure he wants to. You want me to check her out, even though I give you the creeps? Yeah, I do. Anything for an old friend? Dustin, look out! God, he got hit. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got that part. It's Horton. I saw him. I can't believe it. How bad is it? Oh, it's bad. You took three rounds. I'll oh, skip the details, Dawson. Okay, Richie, I'd say you were dying. Not again. Stick around. I'll be right back. Two years I've been working in Belgium. I've only been back in Paris a few months. Planning on staying? I guess that depends on what happens. Are we talking about work here? <laughs> Saved by the big statue. Amazing, huh? The finesse of those sculptures. Looks like they're ready to dance. You see more dance work? <laughs> You're missing out. Even size didn't matter to Rodin. He can make anything that seemed light enough to dance. But even you said that there was... I draw them, because I never studied with her. It sounds like she did. She was a sculptor. Do you think people can learn of once in their lifetime? No. Huh. Did I tell you my great aunt Marie is very angry with you? <laughs> Who? Aunt Marie. Oh. Every Tuesday night we go to hear jazz. She used to dance with Josephine Baker in the Latin Quarter. I thought Josephine Baker danced in the Folie Bergère. Well, she's old. She's allowed to forget a few things. Yeah, I guess so. Well, why don't we go see her? I know a great place in uh, Saint-Germain. I don't think I want to share you with anyone tonight.
That's not a good idea. They're just pictures. My God. You said she looked like me, but I never imagined this. I want to see you. All this time. I thought you were making love to me. Lisa, it was you. Don't touch me! It was her! Lisa, this is different. Not for you. You got her back, didn't you? Lisa! Lisa, wait! You guys have been around for centuries. I wouldn't think seeing an immortal come back would be such a big deal. Well, recording it, yes, but to, but to actually witness it, it's extraordinary. Well, I guess you're just lucky. Tell me, how does it feel, uh, coming back? Well, I suppose it beats the alternative, but I'm not looking to make a career out of it. <laughs> you saved my life. I was there. It was happening. Let's call it reflexes. No, no, no. This does not mean we're going to start picking out curtains together. I owe you one. You might regret that. I might indeed. I know it's only a partial license. I only got the last three numbers. We'll see what you can do through the Paris police. All right, call me when you do. Horton took a shot at Dawson. Nothing to worry about, he hit me instead. What's wrong? Lisa's been kidnapped. It happened right in front of me. Hello. How are you, McLeod? You're a dead man, Horton. Oh, come, come. That's no way to speak to an old friend. I just wanted to keep you informed. I have the girl. Truly remarkable likeness, don't you agree? Put her on. Duncan. Duncan, I'm scared. Did he hurt you? Not yet. He's crazy, Duncan. Please help me. Where are you? Time's up. Oh, just so you don't worry. The girl is fine. So far. It's me you want, Horton. So why don't you come get me? All in good time, Cloud. You've already buried Tessa once. I don't think you want to do it again. Ho the man is definitely angry. I pushed all the right buttons. You were very good. I think he's really quite fond of you. Can you blame him? the next button. It's not scheduled for servicing. But if you insist, we'll have it checked out. It's perfect. Oh, if there's a problem, I can be reached here. It's my new address. Okay, so Horton's got Lisa. What should we do? It's me, Horton, once. It's me, Horton's gonna get. Hello. Mr. McLeod? I was just wondering if you're still interested in that Aston Martin. Yes, I am. Well, I have that address you wanted. Thank you, Alfonso.
Mac, let's just think about this for one second here. Horton shows up. He takes a shot at Dawson. Lisa looks exactly like Tessa. Come on. Mac, he's using her. Even if he is, do you think that's gonna stop him from killing her? I know. He may own her. But whoever she is, her face is Tessa's. This is Horton's game. And Horton's rules. All I can do is play it out. Alone. You untie me and deal me in. Give it a rest. Maybe we could play something besides cards. And maybe Gordon could blow my brains out. It's not him you gotta worry about. Where's Horton? He's gone. He left a few hours ago. I don't know what's happening. Why, why are they doing this to me? It's a long story. I'll tell you on the way to the barge. I don't want to go to the barge. What are we doing here? Your father's grave is that way. I'm not here to see my father. I'm here to see Tessa. I want you to see the difference between us. She's there. Dead. I'm here. The line. I hope that's clear to you. It is. But I have one question. What was your face like before? What? Before the surgery. Before what surgery? Who was Claudine Badeau? Who? Forgotten your mother's maiden name already? Why are you doing this? Why are you? The line's over, Lisa. Okay. You're right. I lied to you. I lied about everything. I have a son. His name is Mark. He's six years old. Horton has him. He said it was you or him. But I could never hurt you, Duncan. Tell me about Mark. I have his picture right here. When does Horton come in? As soon as you tell him. When did you know? Part of me knew when I first saw you. Just didn't want to believe it. You're good, Lisa. That's what your name is. It is. And don't feel too bad. You aren't the first. I can be anyone I want. Anyone you want me to be. And you wanted me to be Tessa. At first? Then I just wanted you to be you. They all do. I was married to a psychiatrist once. He kept trying to understand me, to get into my head. He was still trying when I killed him. They all tried to understand. But I am one of a kind. That's why Horton broke me out of prison. You're a sociopath. Smart, but a little late. So, why bring me here? Horton's idea. <laughs> the guy's got a sick sense of humor. What does it feel like when you're about to die? 
Are you scared? Huh? Is it hard? Not as hard as it is to shoot someone with an empty gun. It's over, Lisa. The cops want you in jail, and Horton's gonna want you dead. Horton and I have a deal. Only as long as he can use you, and he can't use you anymore. I waited a long time for this. It's a shame I have to hurry now. He's dead. What the hell are you doing? I'm taking a trophy. Yeah. Not this time. He made me. He said you couldn't use me anymore. He was wrong. Your turn, McLeod. One chance. Right here. Sorry, Mac. She's not Tessa. She never was.
miss it. It's just a boat. But it was home. Why are you giving it up? More Tessa too long. It's time to move on. Where to? Oh, I don't know. Somewhere. You coming?